we're not a surf station. The closest surf station is Merrimack River, the next one north. This station is actually all landfill. There was nothing here. There used to be an air station out on 10 Pound Island out there. There's a lighthouse on the Anasquam River, and then there's one out at Eastern Point. Three families that live out at those houses. We have 247s and 225s. Just over 30, 30 active duty personnel. We have a pretty large auxiliary as we have 15 reserves that come here. This right here is the galley. It's just recently named the Can Do Cafe after the vessel Can Do that went down offshore. We did a, a dedication plaque to them and the boat actually uh, sank and uh, they lost all their lives trying to, uh, to uh, get the, the Coast Guard crew to safety. Um, the boat actually, uh, the 44, actually uh, struck a submerged object and went uh, dead in the water during a huge, this huge storm. Once the 44 got relit off um, and they were good to go, the can-do uh, actually uh, went down. We were like family to them, so. And here's our TV room, rec deck. We got the dog bed over there, Tucker's bed. He's, he's really good at sleeping and laying around. He's uh, definitely a professional at it. And anytime he's inside the building, he's usually laying down. He likes to lay upside down just so people can come up and pet him. This is our boat maintenance facility. We have a travel hoist in there for pulling the 47s out of the water. And we put them inside where it's heated in the wintertime and we can work on them inside the station. In the wintertime, I've seen it as low as 36 degrees, 35 degrees. And in the summertime, it warms up to, you know, up in the 60s. A lot of fishing, one of the largest fishing ports on the East Coast, um, as far as uh, your cod and haddock and your lobster. Also, a lot of pleasure craft activity in the summertime gets pretty busy. But in the wintertime, like right now, it's mostly just fishing vessels. And that's our day-to-day -day mission. We do fisheries boardings. We have several of us that are boarding officer qualified for fisheries and that's we make fisheries inspections every day. We make sure they have the legal size of fish, the legal amounts. With the lobster, they, it's, it's highly regulated and such a declining business that we got to make sure that they're not taking any more than they're supposed to. You got to wear two hats. You got to be the inspector and the, the law enforcement agency and you're the guy that they call when life is on the line. Yeah, after a while, we get to know the fishermen. They'll start to know you by name. Fishing community, you know, there's quite a few of the fishermen that we've helped out, and they remember that.